And for number 7... The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I may have adored Sonic... Alright, here we go. Being on here. Well, first of all, how in the blue hell does this count as a reboot in the first place? It's an animated adaption for the first time ever. This show, whether you like it or not, Phantom, is not a remake of any show beforehand. This show came first before any other Sonic cartoon series was ever made. Before Sonic Boom, before Sonic X, before Sonic Underground, and before the show known as Sonic Saturday M, which aired around about the same time as this show, and that show is not a reboot either. I don't think I need to explain this little detail since it's bloody obvious to- But damn, this show is just a nonsensical, insane garbage heap. The animation is the laziest Deke animation has ever done. And that's against some stiff competition for Deke. And the stories are all completely irrational and insane. The challenging part of this cartoon is spotting a character who's not so stupid that they could pass as a village idiot. How did we go from this... ...to this? Wait, 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 hold up. Let's rewind a little bit here. How did we go from this... To this. What is going on? Why would you ever? That point is entirely irrelevant. This is not about video games adaptions list. This is about cartoon quote unquote remakes. You said it earlier, Phantom, in your video. It's time to check out some time-honored classic cartoons. Remade into disastrous train wrecks. Where's the relation between the two? Both have something that resembles a blue hedgehog. I'm waiting. Some people say that Sonic Underground is worse, but at least that had an original story and concept, and variety in their cast, and acceptable animation. I'm a Oh boy. Okay, a few things. Number one, Sonic Underground may have had an original concept, However, it was also influenced by Sonic Sat AM after a group of writers was told to use that single episode of that series as a background instead of creating its own identity, and added music which was made solely so that Dick could earn royalties by putting one song in every episode. Ben Hurst, one of the writers on that show, gave an interview about it. Link below. Also, Sonic Underground repeats some of the same stories from other Sonic cartoons and even its own series. There's simply no excuse for that. It may have had an original concept you Phantom, but it recycles the same old shit that we have seen before and cannot make its own identity by using Sonic Siam as a platform. Number 2. They never intended in actually planning an ending where Sonic's siblings finally meet their mother to overthrow Robotnik. You know, the entire point of this series? Hell, Adventures at least ended on a goodbye and Sonic Siam ended its first story arc with a build up to more story, but Underground? Nope. They don't even complete theirs. And this was a series that clearly had an ending in sight. Number 3. Acceptable anime! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I cannot say that with a straight face. You do know this cartoon is infamous about its shoddy animation, right? Here's an example. Uh -huh. Hmm. Need a hand? Ah. Just a little joke there. What? What? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Why'd you save me? Let's talk, bud. And that was just one example. There are many mistakes made in this series because Hong Ying Animation, for some reason, didn't care enough while working on this show. This here is a contender for some of the worst animation that Dick has ever produced, alongside the wacky world of Tex Avery, and guess who also worked on that show? Number 4. Variety in the cast. My ass. Three of the main characters are voiced by Jill White and watching Sonic Underground. Yes, I have watched Sonic Underground. I could have sworn I was hearing Maurice LaMarche voice a few more characters. And not only was I right, 
I was shocked to find out how many he voiced. Maurice LaMarche voiced at least 10 characters in this show, and he's not the only one who voices more than 5 characters. Gary Chalk voices 7 characters, and Tabitha St. Germain, my bae, voices 6 characters. How do I know this? By doing research. And Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is also guilty of having multiple characters voiced by the same person, but not as bad as Sonic Underground. And finally, number 5. Sonic Underground is the third Sonic cartoon series and it feels more of a reboot than Sonic's at AM, and having the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog on this list sticks out for all the wrong reasons, and should never have been considered in the first place, regardless how you feel. I may have loved this cartoon growing up, but the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog started off bad, got worse around the middle, and the less said about the end, the better. 